Hi everybody, how are you doing tonight? This is Marge, and we're going to look at the Inner Star Oracle. This is by Jo Klima. Uh, she can be found online at um, it's Darling Tree. So, I was sure I was uh, not going to get this deck uh, for various reasons until Holly from Cape Card Creatures pointed out some features of the deck that I hadn't seen and that kind of pushed me over the edge and I got it and I actually love this deck. So uh, here's the box. There's two editions. There's this magic edition which is color and then there's a black and white one. So it's a very nice uh, matte kind of um, velvety card stock. Here's the backs, they're beautiful. Now, some people said that this deck was too much like Sacred Creators Oracle because Sacred Creators also has various pastel backs with geometric shapes. And I'm gonna also actually pull that out. We'll compare it with that after. Um, secret creators. Um, but this deck is it's a totally different deck. It's a totally different deck. Sacred Creators is more geared towards business and projects and creativity. This deck, to me, is just more um, a general guidance on the path deck and to me it almost has an other other planet feeling to it it if if a deck is can be channeled this feels like it was it feels like there's kind of other otherworldly energies in it and I love that about this deck it comes with a small book and I find this book okay I feel like I'm getting more meanings from the cards than what's in the book. We'll look at we'll look at one after. Um, so this is probably my favorite card. Look at that. Isn't that just incredible? So some of these you can see an extra image that's kind of subtly in the background. Some it's not as apparent. This is. This card's amazing. The colors in this deck are just incredible. This is like sorbet or something. Eternal energy. So the shapes are really interesting, I think. It's super vibrant. Embrace the change. So here... I mean, this is great. Allow the unknown, and it's a it's a hand, kind of like a hamsa, but you can see its a hand is holding it. So this is just kind of like keep your keep your hands open to the change. It's beautiful. I mean, these are just really stunning. I love this surrender control. Now, in the book, this just talks about surrendering control, uh, like in relationships. But to me, this is about something way beyond. You can see the trees in the background. And look, there's a lion, a tiger. Do you see that right here? To me, this is just really about surrendering control to, to life and what's bigger than yourself and your ego and... Um, so I, I find some of the book descriptions a little limiting. Look how beautiful they are. Look at that. Protect your energy. I love this one. Ascending spirit. It's like a fountain. And to me, what... what what this reminds me of is that kind of at lower level, your energy is more diffused. And as you 
as you ascend, you sort of fine tune and 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 your your little can be more focused. Gorgeous, huh? Radiate your light. So do you see the girl in the background? Here's her face and her hair. I like that the the background images are like watermarks. And look at the design. It's like radiating like a sun, huh? This is nice for support. It's like a little teepee with like little people. I like this. So some of them might seem kind of basic, but I hope you can get just the feeling of this deck. It's just got such a nice, such a nice feeling. Stay the course. Oh, did I get the one? There's one that has a peacock in the background. Which one has the peacock? So there's mountains. There's a girl with her hair. Oh, there's the one with the peacock. Let's see what's that? So I've been I've been reaching for this deck a lot. Uh kind of every day. Oh god, I gotta find you the peacock. Oh here it is. No. Positive reflection. I'm not sure what that is. Some of them are a little hard to tell. Okay, I'm going to find you the peacock. I may have to add it because I do not know how to edit and like stop the cassette. Stop cassette. <laughs> Shows you like how, how uh, up to date I am. Uh, I am. Uh, oh, here it is. Here it is. Create your reality. So do you see the peacock? Here's his eye and his beak and here's all his feathers. Beautiful. So should we take a card? Uh, let's do the diamond one, and then I'll, sh I'll compare it real briefly with uh, Sacred Creator. So here's Diamond Strength. So each one has about a page. Has about that much. The pressure, let's see if we can get it both in there. The pressure you may be feeling in life can lead to a transformation of strength and resilience. Stay strong, hold your center, know you'll be able to face what's in front of you. You may, you have incredible power within you, you may not even know. Affirmation, I have the inner strength to work through any obstacles in my life. So do we get anything beyond that? I can't quite put that into words. But I, I sometimes think with some of these cards that there's actually, I mean, maybe it's supposed to be an intuitive deck that you get your own meanings, but I, it's either that and or there are meanings in this cards possibly beyond what, uh, you know, Joe Klima thought of, but I guess it's just intuitive. Um because I'm sure she knew what she wanted for the messages. So in terms of this deck compared with Sacred Creator, so so there's a sense of, of what this deck is like. Sacred Creators is beautiful. There's many reviews on it online, and I did one earlier. This is also a stunning, stunning deck. It's just a totally different deck. Beautiful backs, uh, beautiful matte gilding, but... Also, I mean, look how good they actually look together. This has um, 
just it's it's just a totally different deck. I could see how people made that initial um, comparison because they have pastel backgrounds and geometric designs, but I think you could see these are just really really different decks. This look at this beautiful. They actually, look very nice together. But you can see these are much more complex in the overlay geometric images and the backgrounds. And the, the overall feel is very different. This deck comes with a very um, sort of workbook type guidebook with a lot of exercises. more geared like i said towards towards business and not as not quite as kind of cosmic um other dimension feeling as this deck i mean look at these so I think they're two totally separate decks. Um, they look beautiful together, actually. Look at that. And it's so great that people create such beautiful decks that we get to enjoy. So that's a little look at the Inner Star Oracle Magic Edition. And uh, I think you could get this at... at uh, the Darling Tree website. Okay, hope uh, hope you enjoyed this, and thanks for watching. Bye.